Okay, I've wanted to shoot this video for a little while. This is a 2005 GMC Top Kick. Uh, they also go by Chevy Kodiak. I picked this up earlier this year. I uh, plow a long mountainous road and uh, it's about four miles of plowing and we get a lot of snow and I've had Silverados and Fords and everything in between and everything's always been inadequate. So after doing a lot of research and deciding on uh, the right vehicle for my application, I settled on the top kick. And uh, when I was looking for these, I never really found a good video that discussed really much about them at all, other than guys, uh, you know, jacking them up and doing crazy things with them. But as far as a functional work tool, you know, these were only out with four wheel drive as this one is from I believe 2004 to 2009. This particular one has the Duramax LLY motor. I couldn't really find a good deal on one that had the LBZ in 2006. That would have been my ideal. Uh, but all the same, it's a good, good, powerful motor and very trusted. Uh, just a quick video, I wanted to point out a couple things. Number one, one of the main things that I liked about this was the height. When you're plowing down the road with this, you don't get the snow as you push banks down along of down the side of a long road. You don't get the snow going right up into your window because I am about six feet tall and this is my height, you know, right about here. So the top of this vehicle is about eight feet. Here is a late model GMC and try to give you the size comparison of these two trucks. <clears throat> it dwarfs it. And I have a three quarter ton Silverado with an LBZ motor in it that I used for plowing for years. I have in my, my other video and uh, they're roughly the same height, especially with the plow on it really drops the other truck. But this one, you can see the top of the roof actually goes below that window. Uh, so that was number one. Number two, this is a 4,500 which was adequate for my needs. I can put the plow in the front and the sander in the back, load up completely. This is actually a full sander right now and it's not squat, it doesn't make a difference. <clears throat> so handling the weight is kind of an obvious one. A little thing, but if you plow a lot, you know what I mean. Uh, the dually setup on this particular truck, the back wheel is not really out further than the front wheel. It might be out just a little bit, but not much. So when you're going around a ditch on the side of the road, the back wheel doesn't really pull you in. The front wheel helps you set your, your width. Now the full width of this truck is eight feet, which is why I put the extenders on this Fisher plow. This Fisher plow, also I couldn't find anything else on the internet with this setup. Um, the Fisher plow is an eight foot six wide. So when you turn it, you would just be basically funneling the snow into the tires. With these wings, they add 10 inches to either side. So they give you a total of 20 inches, which brings me right to about 10 feet, which gives you a nice large swath when you pull through. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably forget a few things on this video, but as far as a plow truck goes, everything about it really is above and beyond what I expected. Uh, the height again is the best, the not sagging, uh, the grip, and the four-wheel drive in the snow is way beyond uh, what I got out of the Silverado. And a lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with weight. And these tires are great. If you're looking for uh, good off-road tires for one of these trucks, this is a um, 245 19.5. I don't know if you make that out on the tire, but this is a Saloon or Sa Ceylon. Not really sure the pronunciation, but it's an S740. These uh, grips are, the grip on these tires is pretty amazing. They have pretty good fluting for the ice, obviously deep treads. I put, uh, they're drive tires, but I put them on my front too, as well. And the majority of the time, even going up hills, I'm able to plow in four wheel drive or two wheel drive. I only really put it in four wheel drive if I'm going slow up a long hill and the road has a nice ice pack, then I'll put it in four wheel. Uh, the only downside I have to this truck is the hood does not open with the plow attached. You know, it has a front opening 
hood. So in order to check the oil or any of the fluids, uh, you need to detach your plow. Uh, so possibly I'll, you know, hinge the, the metal there, cut it and make it hinge over. Not really sure how to deal with that yet, but it's a small issue uh, given the benefits. Uh, real quick in the cab here, I'll take you inside briefly. <clears throat> now my setup might be a little different. I have uh, the edge monitor. I've put a wireless backup camera on it. <clears throat> this particular vehicle has about 40,000 miles on it. I picked it up used. It was just uh, for highway travel. Um, <clears throat> Couple things, all the controls, even though you're high up, the controls are like a regular pickup truck. So everything is accessible, you're comfortable, you have nice comfortable seats. You don't, you don't feel like you're really in, you just feel like you're in a Silverado. Now look at the height here, out the side. You know, my knee is basically where my head would normally be in a smaller truck. So as I go down the road, you know, the snow just hits right down the side of my door. So you don't really get uh, the snow washing up into your face, blasting into the side of your windshield or the side of your window, which fogs everything up. So you're constantly chasing the fog. You never have any fog in these trucks, uh, which was really my um, one of my best unintended advantages of this. The other thing, it's a little thing, but when you raise the plow, the front of the truck does not drop at all. Now I'll get out here and show you. The ground clearance on the front of your plow is great. You are not dropping down and hitting concrete as you go down the road. You don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, one more thing. I'll try to keep this brief. The video's already getting longer than I intended. But again, a lot of these little features you just won't know about unless you have used one of these. Ground clearance off the side is great, and you'll get this with any large plow truck. But again, these trucks are small, so you can get in and do tight areas for the most part uh, that you wouldn't be able to get with a bigger, I've had the bigger dump trucks, and they're just, they're just not the same. Uh, but again, when you're plowing and you get a huge uh, pile of snow next to you, then as you back up, you turn your wheel and you kind of have to drive into the pile of snow, that would always get pushed up into my rocker panels, uh, the rocker guards, and it would just rot it out or I'd be chiseling it out so it wouldn't rot it out. That never happens with this. You're always, your ground clearance is great. It's basically like a jacked up truck. Uh, but everything on this, if you're not familiar with the 4500 frames, everything is just bigger than it is on the, the one tons and the three quarter tons. I don't know if I can get this on the camera, but the transfer case in this thing is massive compared to, I had read online, I had thought they had the same transfer case, but they definitely did not. The transfer case on this is much larger than you find on the three quarter tons. Uh, with my setup, the only downside is I have this sander, which is a little too short for my backhoe bucket, so I spill a lot. But that, uh, that might be the one negative that I have other than the hood. And I opted for the crew cab model. I read a lot of the measurements. I had a crew cab Silverado. I was really worried about the length being a problem with the turning radius. Uh, a couple things. This is about... So they're both crew cabs. This is about... I think eight inches longer of a wheelbase, but it has a much tighter turning radius even with that than my Silverado did. And on top of that, I could take my whole family and put them in the back and you have a nice open area and a bunch of people can come with you, which is a little side benefit. So all in all, if you're in a similar position as me and you plow off-road and you want something that you can be comfortable in because you're in it for you know, 10, 12 hours at a time, but uh, gets you all the power in the world and uh, gives you all this capability. You will not be disappointed by these trucks. Uh, okay, I did find one other uh, bad thing about it is four-wheel drive low is really low. 
in the uh, going forward is great, but going backwards, it can be uh, time, a little bit of a time sink. So you'll find that when you do the parking lot, you just go in two wheel drive. And uh, when you do uh, a long run, if you're a four wheel drive low going forward, it's not an issue. Okay, I hope this video helps somebody else out that's uh, trying to make a similar decision that I was.